face mask and and I've been waking up right when the alarm goes off. That would be at 8 a.m. And it's cool, and I notice a difference throughout the day, but when I first wake up, I remember two things, and then I forget one. So part of all of I used to take 30 minutes to get out of bed. Now I get up as soon as the alarm goes off. And it is an experience, that's for sure. So I wake up and I put on my here handy pants and a shirt. Sometimes it's good to flip things up. I, I change my living room to a bedroom and a bedroom to a living room. Right now I'm standing in my studio with my hand blocking the camera. But I'm okay with that because I'm still waking up and I got up like five minutes ago. So bleh. Oh, yeah, I've got a guitar, a cool poster. And... Oh yeah, that's some good software right there, man. Let me tell you. And then a, a Power Mac G5. So now that I have some coffee in me, I will be showing you my Power Mac collection that I use every day at home. I have completely removed all modern technology from my apartment. They are all Motorola-based processors, technically, quote-unquote, obsolete. The way that I look at it is I am able to remove all the distractions of modern technology while being able to focus on the things that matter most to me. I use my iPhone too. I'm actually using my iPhone to make this video. I'm just trying to accomplish, you know, simplistic life. And the iPhone has a really nice camera. Like, I, I, I just, I like the camera. It's really nice. It's a nice camera. It takes good pictures. So my PowerBook G4 is the workforce to my mobile needs. It just works out really well. It's perfect for writing creation and it even has all the older software that came with it so it's all period correct as far as browsing the web is concerned I am using a browser called 10 4 Fox 7450 since 2018 this thing was built in uh, 2004 by having this computer here it limits me to what I can do on the modern web. If I need to access Facebook and I would like to use a keyboard, I will then access Facebook through this web browser. This is what Facebook looks like on my PowerBook G4. This is my iMac G4. I do all my journaling on this. It has built-in speakers, so I have a specific CD for when I'm journaling. This iMac G4 features a 800 megahertz PowerPC G4 processor, 40 gig hard drive, airport wireless G, and a 17 inch adjustable display. It rotates, oh that's cool, it rotates. It's an airport extreme! My airport extreme serves its purpose very well. Say hello to my Power Mac G5 that has a dual core G5 processor, or rather two G5s put together. And it looks just like my Mac Pro at the office, which is a Mac Pro 2009, except the difference is this is called a Power Mac G5 instead of a Mac Pro. But they're basically the same thing case design-wise, other than a few port differences. It is PowerPC-based versus Intel-based. Oh, yeah. For the monitor, I have a 17-inch Apple Studio display, which uses Apple's proprietary connector. I upgraded it and added an additional four ports because right now it only has two USB ports on the back. I am experimenting while I'm making this video because I said why not. I decided to extend my keyboard without having to use a USB extension cable. I hooked up said Apple keyboard here that's missing the inner key. I hooked that keyboard to this keyboard through the USB ports on the back of that keyboard. There's not enough power. This is my Power Mac G4 Quicksilver. It's gonna be the server, but I have to modify either the shelf or the casing for the fit. My keyboard from 2006. It's got a lot of keys. The best part is they're pressure sensitive. It also supports MIDI, so I'm able to directly connect it via USB. 
be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Just I'm just so full of energy today. I'm gonna sit down and read a book.